YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome to my YouTube channel. We have a brand new Let's Play for Total War Room 2. It's going to be Carthage, and it is going to be the Barkid Dynasty. Now, I know what you're all thinking. I've already started a Let's Play of Carthage, but that was back when Rome was released. It wasn't released very well. It was poorly optimised. I couldn't get the game to run very well, so I lost heart, to be honest, for the first kind of month or so of release and I decided to not go through with it but Carthage was the faction which you all voted for so it's only fair that I go back and and uh, do a let's play of Carthage and it's uh, also one of my favourite factions as well Carthage is I'm a massive fan of Hannibal Barker and the Second Punic Wars and I'm looking forward to this campaign since release the game has improved um, I've got a better PC now than what I had a couple of months ago as well. Got a different graphics card, a different processor, so you know it should look better, should play better. I am getting getting much better frames per second as well. So here we go. Your positions are divided. You must secure additional territory to ensure their protection and to establish your faction as the supreme Mediterranean power. You are already at war with the Terditani. Capturing their settlement of Kartuba will further consolidate your position in Iberia. Relations are strained with Rome and Syracuse. You may find an ally in the Etruscan League should you choose to invade the Italian peninsula and maintaining good relations with the Methaseli and your African protectorates will prove vital should you need to repel an invasion, Carthage will prevail. So there we are. Objective issued. Completely control three provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. Interesting stuff. So, let's go straight to our technology. Straight away we'll get a Perioikai camp. Uh, At your command! Hannibal on war elephants, we like to see that very much so. Need an army. Come Start spending some of our money. Carthage can be upgraded, by lots of things. Hellenistic polis, three mob, two Libyan hoplites, one Carthaginian hoplite, and one citizen militia. A lot of money to spend early on. Uh, what can we go for? What can we go for? Agora, Marcus, uh, slave trader. We need the public order and the wealth. We'll go with that for now. And a little overview of the map. So there we are. We start off with Carthage. We have part of Magna Graecia with Lilibaeum. We have Caralis here. And we have uh, Cartadash over here. Build in Lilibaeum. A spy. Jezebel. Look at our diplomacy to begin with, I think. Now, we are hated very much. Even Libya are not that good friendly towards me at the moment, so it is a bit of a worry. We will go with the Etruscan League, see if we can get trade. I look forward to your wisdom. They don't want trade, it's not very good. I cannot agree. Really good non aggression pack. The what about defensive alliance? And the food smells smoke. Nope, don't want that either. I cannot agree. Uh, even it's a bit the pointless for them, I think. Epirus for they want trade. Greetings, my friend. Nope. You have my Okay, we're not gonna get anywhere with the diplomacy, I don't think. Well but just double check. We are trading with Nova Carthago. We're not trading with Libya. We'd get trade with them, I wonder. I will be a patient audience. Nope. That's not a very good start, right? <laughs> My spy can go to Syracuse for me. Libyam is going to lose some public order. I say we build a force here. Other dynasties, Hanunoid and... I like with the other Himilcar from the other dynasties. Raise an army here. Give him the old war elephants. Set up the watch. A couple of javelin men to begin with. Can still undevelop, expand the land. We expand here in Carthage. Zoom all the way across to Carthage. Expand there as well. We do have an army. 
How can I serve Carthage? How can I serve Carthage? I think for now, Ready for we'll stick him Set in there. The Does it get a public order a little bit? We have mercenary Iberian swordsmen. Look at the upkeep straight away. Right, we're gonna disband both of these because that's just terrible. Don't be spending that much on useless units. No way, no way. Um, instead, we'll get a couple of Libyan hoplites in their place. Have a fleet over here. We're gonna bring the fleet to Lilibium. Corrales. Uh, trying to look around at the moment. So as you can see, it's quite stretched to begin with. Not much we can do this turn, I don't think. I could expand, but I'm going to give it a turn or two before oh, I do that. I but end turn, let me see what happens in the end turn phase. But yeah, going back to what I was saying a few minutes ago. Carthage is one of my favourite factions in this period of time. I am a big fan of the Second Punic Wars. And I was very disappointed with the initial release of Rome 2. I couldn't play the game very well. Go for that there. Really buy him. I need to increase public order here as well. I've got a port at the moment. I think I'll go with the harbour. Get the extra bit of income. How can I serve Carthage? I'm just gonna get some get lots of javelin men. Javelin men are quite strong in this game. I live to serve the mighty Especially Carthage. in patch seven. It's a great and glorious thing. Let's go straight over to Carter Dasher in Iberia. At your command. And then we've Come join Get a couple more of uh, javelin men. I think I can end turn again. So I'm just going to go through the first few turns quite quickly. See how we do. But yeah, the game was uh, poorly playable for me. I couldn't, couldn't really play it at all when it was released. I did the uh, first six or seven episodes of my Carthage campaign and then I just couldn't... Oh. <sighs> Enter war on side of ally. Just couldn't play the game very well. Logistics, excellent. Right, we could go with military settlement. Focus on my military to begin with. Carthage can be upgraded. Let it buy them. That can be upgraded as well. Hellenistic village. We get a garrison there. We could do with a garrison actually. We, yeah, we'll go with that. Corrales. Should we go with a garrison? Got my fleet nearby. Lord orders, my lord. We are losing public order here. It's not very really good. Could expand. Ah, here we go. Consecrated ground. That'll increase our public order. I could expand here, but I don't want to expand and leave it to turn to a slums when I don't have much money for this turn, so I won't quite do that yet. Started. I'm probably going to need to take some provinces over here. We have Ars. <laughs> take that Ars. Right, we have Kartuba, Tertidani. We're all with Tertidani already. They only have this province. We also got our allies down here. Speaking of allies, let's double check diplomacy. Can the Etruscans do My friend, anything with me? Be welcome. The spirits of this place Don't want smile trade. upon you. The gods Don't bless want defensive you. alliance, so they're pointless at the moment. Epirus, can we get anything with them? I don't think we can, but... Enter, friend, no, it's worth trying, though. Speak. Oops. We back. surely have... I think we got... Yeah, we got trade already with Nova Carthago. It's a bit silly, though. It's such a strange thing. You know... Try your best to get different units and to recruit different things, and... Ready for just seems... The game doesn't want you to do anything at this early start with, uh, early start with uh, Carthage. But yeah, I'm going to turn again and I'll try and get a battle with the Turtadani, I think. That'll be my first target. If we can get a few settlements in Spain, that'll be a good start, I think. So, see how this campaign plays out. I am playing on very hard difficulty. Ooh, the gate really want peace. My lord is willing um, to lay down the sword. It is not often that he is moved to mercy. That might piss off my allies. Tell you what, I'll have peace with you, but you must pay me. I demand payment. About a thousand. Oh, there we are then. I think I was fair. Just having a drink there. A bit thirsty. Right, um... 
Oh, Rome. I don't want to be in a war with Rome just yet. I want to try to expand my empire slightly first. We've got a bit of money to spend again. We have... I think we can probably leave Carthage. What have we got? Seven. Oh, four of them are mob units, so that's not good to me. I'm going to expand Carthage. Carthage can be my main centre for units. A muster field is a must. <laughs> Funny joke. Hannibal. Balhamun be praised. Hannibal can travel over there. Where's he going? What the hell? Where's he gone? Hannibal, what the hell are you doing? Where's he? What? What the hell? Oh my god. Why is Hannibal going over to Nova Carthago? Stupid, stupid pathfinder in this game. Right, just go by your ship. It'll take you a few turns. Oh, it's irritating. Right, um. That would be currently nothing in Lilibeum now, so. Got a few more things being built over there. Corrales. We have consecrated ground soon. That should help out public order a little bit. So let's double check. Why are they unhappy with cultural differences? Uh, what's the culture? All right, check. Oh, we got. We got to try to remove some of that Latin culture. So we'll try and do that. In the next turn or two, Syracuse. We're going to look to take Syracuse soon. They have an army with nine units plus Syracuse itself has nine plus two. That's 20 altogether, a full stack. So I'm gonna need a full stack to take on Syracuse, I think, or thereabouts. If we slowly transverse over to Carter Dash, we can actually build over here, which I think I will, and develop land. Must have feel over here, going to need it straight away. Don't have much more funds left, no, not enough to buy anything, so I think I can enter in once more. Here we go. Good stuff indeed. And I hope you guys like my thumbnail as well. It took me probably about an hour, maybe a bit longer. Look to your gods oh, and decade war on me. Where are they? Now find Down here. Mercy. Libya and Carthage. Libya refused. <laughs> Bastards. So Libya are, because they're on good terms with them. Well, that's not good. Yeah, it took me about an hour, maybe a bit longer to create the thumbnails. I think it's one of my best thumbnails I've made so far, so I'm I'm personally very pleased with them. Fishmonger, public order will go down if I do that. What have we got? We have oh, seven units, we need more units, Carthage. don't we? Let's just go three of them, and I think then we've probably got enough to take, or certainly challenge the Turtadani. Hannibal, you are going in the wrong direction, my boy. We'll go this way instead. I think sort the pathfinding out. Go over here. Still have a wind, my lord. Carthage. One more, one more turn, we'll have that. We also have a garrison of Libyan, ho Libyan hoplites. Get my words out properly. And we can't build anything. Oh, we can actually develop land. Do that again. Uh, we haven't got a muster field here yet, so uh, concentrated ground could be useful. What can we currently build? Actually, more units have I got available Ready to me. Crappy units. Okay, we'll get a muster field straight away. I can click on it. Where's the damn thing gone? Oh, I don't want that. Overview. Nope. There we go. That's what I wanted. Must field. They got crappy units to begin with, Carthage, to be honest with you. Terrible, terrible units. And this has been built. Public order still going down. Mm, maybe I could raise another force. Don't know if I've got enough funds. Nope. Of course I haven't got enough funds. Um, let's go to Iberia. Eight garrisons. Oh my god, look at the size of this army. <laughs> 16 <laughs> plus one. That's going to be a lot to take. Do I actually go and follow the tour to Dani or should I just leave it for now? <laughs> Eat Dani. Public order over here. They actually don't like me either of them, do they? Uh, that's not good. Tour to Dani at war with me. That's them, but they. Garamantia down here. Gaituri over here. And. Eat Dani and not that keen on me either. Or Sirenasha. My time is better spent feasting packed. and hunting than nope. Do I Ugh. look like some civilized <laughs> city hall? I'm gonna feel I'm gonna re regret well, picking why very do you hard try to use me like one? Oh well. Right, we have one more turn. I need to take on Syracuse. Are they allied with anybody? No, they're actually at war with Syrac with uh Epirus, so I think to begin with, I'll try and take them out. Uh, 
10 plus 2, uh, full stack, but roughly. Roughly a full stack, so I can just try to spend as much money as I can now in the next couple of turns. Hopefully I can get some better units than what I currently got available to me. And then I can actually try to take out uh, some of these provinces, some of these factions. And I will try to get a battle in this part. Be the perfect way to start off a campaign. Nova Carthago. The Turtle Downy, what are they doing? Oh, okay, right. I think the Turtle Downy have just taken. Yes, they have. They've just taken Gadira. That's not good news for me, is it? Okay, right. I'm gonna go on here. Let's get this to begin with. Set a war target to Tadani. We'll go with. If Nova Carthago can take that back and I can take that, then I'll be happy. So we'll try and do that to begin with. I do have a sizable force or a reasonable force, which I will take. How far can we go? Up oh, here. We can actually ambush, but might not be any point. Ambushing. Mercenary Numidian Javelin. I like the sound of them. We'll get them. Some cavalry as well, we will definitely need cavalry. Carter Dash, 8 plus 2. We can defend that area, I think. I think we'll be okay there for now. Let's go back over here. Cannibal, I'm going to take him to Lilibayam. Loads of different mercenary units we can get in Lilibayam. I think I'll take Hannibal up to here if possible, just to the border. Want him to be able to strike Syracuse then. We fight for you, my lord. We fight for you, my lord. Can we actually recruit with Hannibal this turn? My lord. We can. Uh, a couple more. Our lord. Libyan hoplites, I think. Actually, we'll get a few more than that. Ready for Go with this army. Going in this army. Got my ship as well. So I think men. all together with what we got here, we can probably take out Syracuse. Just hope to God they haven't got some sort of treaty with Rome by the time that happens. The good news is that even though Garamantia, for some reason, decided it'd be nice to wage war on me, they can't actually <laughs> attack me from here because they will act actually have to break their treaties with Libya. So I'm, I'm quite safe at the moment, not worried about them. So we'll enter in again. And hopefully... Ooh. How would you like your oh my God, come on. <laughs> An arch in Rome? Or a nice column, oh, or by the allies. wailing of your enslaved people. Everybody wants a piece of me at the moment. Rome has just decided it'd be nice to wage war on me as well. Good stuff indeed. <laughs> I do wish though they'd give a bit more reason why. This happened in my last campaign when when I played as Carthage. They in the first few turns just everybody wanted to wage war on me. Didn't make no sense whatsoever. I confirm his war target. Well done. Mission issued. Capture Gadira. Oh, I don't want to capture Gadira. I want to capture the other one. I want to take Kartuba. Although Gadira's probably got less of a force there. Um, anyway. At your, command. At your command, sir. Right. Can we actually reach them from here? I don't know if we can. Yeah, we go this far. On the move, my lord. Oh, maybe we can. It's only got nine units in there. We fight. We take this Come on, get in. Why can't I get in there? Idiots. Um, I'm going to stock up on these in case I am attacked. Hopefully if I am attacked, my allies, Nova Carthago, can help out. I'll try to take Kartuba, then I'll try to take a Gadira. Or maybe I'll go down to Tingis as well and take that. Give me a nice bit of land in uh, Spain, in Iberia. Before you go back over here, a little bit of lag. Whoopsie daisy, here we go. Slowly, I'm preparing my eventual battle. war with Syracuse. At once. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Much better unit straight away. Carthaginian Hoplites. They are cheaper. We'll go with the Carthaginian Hoplites. A couple of units of them. We we'll have a nice strong force for, for Hannibal. Cause. We're going to march into Syracuse and try to take it. My spy. I to serve the mighty Carthage. Uh, won't use my spy yet. And turn again. 
Let's see if anybody else decides to declare war on me in this turn. But yeah, like I was just saying, it's not enough reasons why people wage war on me with Carthage anyway. I know it's very hard and it should be very hard and of course it is with everybody waging war but what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't make sense. Rome just decided, oh I'll wage war on you. We what ask the hell? only a little no, the Carthago want me to wage war against these. Mas uh, why not? Um, actually, you can pay me. I'm I'll do. Yeah, that seems fair. I think I should have some benefit out of it. A bit more money, perhaps can recruit a few more units for that. Jezebel's been exposed. <laughs> rude. Faction joins war. Well, they asked me, so I suppose they're the instigators of the war, but oh well. Everyone to their own. Right, um, need some economy buildings, so we'll go down this line. Take me a few good few turns, but yeah, that should be fine. Syracuse now has a probably decent force, 17. Yeah, plus 11. It's going to be hard to take them out. Are they allied with anybody? Nope, so we can... Mind you, Rome's already at war with me, so it doesn't make any difference now. We can see all these yellow arrows over here. These are the war targets. If I slowly come around. Bump, bump, bump. I'll try and take these guys out now any second. Oh, and we've got a clear way into Kartuba. Excellent. So we'll attack. And apparently, I could not resolve this, but I want to show a battle in this part. So we shall assault them. And hopefully, we will prevail. Dido's Faithful versus a garrison army. So it's actually worked out pretty well because they've moved on to a different town. Kartuba, which is quite a big walled city in uh, Iberia, has been left undefended. And I've got a feeling this is the actual first battle I fought in my last Let's Play of Carthage, the one which didn't uh, go so well. Only did seven episodes. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Dido. Is that our name, my general? I thought, thought my general was called Mago. Mago, start deployment. Deploymento. I got war elephants, which is good. Yeah, I think this is the same. Same battlefield, I think. Okay, what's the best way in? Let's look for a gate. The gate's over here. Capture points right by here. This is going to be the best way in, I think. Right, so we'll go with my militia. Not militia. What are they called? Infantry. Infantry? Uh, missile troops, got there in the end. In the front. Stick these guys here. Oh, they got the ladders. And that's fine, we can go from here. Oh, actually, we'll come around with it. I like the fact they got the ladders, because I don't mind losing those units, because they're only. Uh, what they call. You know what they mean, people. Start the battle. They're only. Um, mercenaries, I got there in the end. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> just had a blank moment then where I just couldn't think. I was thinking, uh, infantry, mercenary, what? Got there in the end, oh, mercenary. Shall try to be as entertaining as possible. There will be lots of Carthaginian jokes, like Valhamun be praised. And there shall be lots and lots of death. So we'll have a little look at the graphics now, because what I'd like you guys to do, if you've watched my first Carthage series, is just have a look at the animations. Here we go, look at this. I can go in, see the detail on these units here. And this was something I couldn't actually do. Look at that. That is stunning. What a beautiful polygon right by there. Nice big stick. <laughs> But I couldn't do that on my last Let's Play. It was glitchy as hell. I couldn't play. I mean, to be fair, I didn't have the best system a few months ago with what I got now. But, you know, I was playing on a mixture of kind of low, medium, and high. I was going between all three settings. And I just couldn't, couldn't really get anywhere with it. It looked horrible. Looked absolutely horrible. And now at least. I can play the game on good settings. I have recently upgraded because what happened was when Rome was released, I was running on an i3 processor and 
a um, GTX 650. Now I've upgraded my processor to an i5, the i5 2500K, and I have upgraded my, my graphics card. Fire! Saved up, done a lot of saving up, and I now have a GTX 770. Had quite a decent price for it as well. I think I think it was released last year, and I've had it for about a hundred pound less than what the release price actually was. So I'm absolutely pleased with that. This graphics card will last me a very long time, I'm sure. And I'm starting to see the full benefits now of this game. But a lot of it's not down to just that. It's down to it's down to uh, the game being poorly optimized, not really being that playable. Have I lost the ladder? I can only see one ladder. One, two, three. That's weird. I thought I had four. Oh, it doesn't matter. Right, these guys, you can get off that now. Get your arms up there. Attack these tribesmen. Zoom in and see the action. Here we go. Ooh, lots of blood. Kill him. Kill him, my boys. They're getting up there. Where's this unit going? That's right, up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. cavalry! You can help out up there, I think. That's right, get as many arrows in as possible. My Numidian cavalry are charging for no reason. I think my infantry needs to get involved now as well. Let's get them up there. Get these all together. Oh, it's because the elephants are in the way. I knew I had another uh, ladder somewhere. We can drop the ladder now anyway, it doesn't matter. Numidian cavalry is getting some shots away on the tribesmen. Balhamun be praised. Uh, my Iberian swordsmen are being completely torn apart. Lost one unit already, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to play the upkeep anymore. Ha ha ha, I'm cruel. Right, we have Libyan Hoplites. They are doing fairly well, I think. Yeah, 81 against. Ah, they're out to know anyway, that's good, they've done well. Well, these two units of Hoplites. Get up there. Form phalanx, I think. This unit. Oh, what's happened? Get up quick. Get out of that formation, just get here quickly. Get up. Right, I think we are gonna win this now, to be honest. I'm playing on extreme. Extreme units, extreme units, extreme Numidian graphics. Cavalry. Although it does lag slightly with recording. I'm start, especially when I zoom in. If I zoom back out, woo, do that. It seems to be fine afterwards. But it's lagging a little bit, but that doesn't matter. I am command. still happy with, with this graphics set and this graphics card. Why is it that these guys have just decided to not get up here? Advanced I'm going to be butchered now. Come on, you're going to get butchered, people. Get your ass up there. Don't want to by the looks of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a big blob. Just blobbing myself in now. Ready. Our orders. Our orders. Quick, a quick march. Oh, I should have probably attack from two sides. What I find strange, though, if I count out the battle by you for a second, you can't get units up this hill. See? If I click on a unit, I just can't get them up there. Yeah, that, you know, it's a hill into the enemy fort, more or less. Why wouldn't... I don't know. <laughs> Missile cavalry awaiting Why can't orders. this unit get up here? Why can't they get... Engage. For honor. God. Missile infantry ready. Numidian cavalry. Numidian cavalry. And the game is starting to glitch quite a bit now. It's do my head in slightly. Come on, the mighty Carthage be praised. Our spears are yours. Ready. Yes, speed. My lord. Orders. Come on, attack. Ready. My lord. Oh, don't glitch on me. My lord. Orders. We are doing very well in this battle, mind. Javelin men! Javelin men! Kill the skies! 
some reason these hot potatoes are just not getting up here. This is glitched completely. My hot potatoes have glitched under the ladder. I hope they're moving now, are they? I don't know. What are your orders? Uh, that's not looking good. Missiles ready. Just blobbing our way in. That's what we do. <laughs> Midian javelin men. Let's actually bring the javelin men out because they've lost. Why can't we click here? What is going wrong? I can't see my cursor for some reason. <laughs> Strange. Valhamon be praised. Right, we are broken them here now. It's just a big mess, big cluster at the moment. And we are not lagging much now. Getting a bit better. Maybe I should have uh, brought down one or two of the settings for recording purposes, is, but oh well. <laughs> ah, we're going to take this battlefield now. We're going to win this battle. They're all starting to rout. My hop is up, are they? Are they up there? No, they're not. Thought they were up there for a second then, got really excited. Look at this, just can't get... I just can't do anything with them, they're under the ladder and they've literally... Is it because I got a unit stuck... Oh, this is this unit by here. I got it. <laughs> I have a unit which is just... Trapped. Look at him. Useless, absolutely useless my boy. Stuck underneath the tower and they can't all can't move because of him. Useless, absolutely useless. Right, you guys can't get in. I always take the javelin man in as well. May as well. Oh, we've won anyway. There we go. So, not the best of battles. A little bit laggy. I may have to turn one or two settings down for the recording, but got the job done in the end. It could have gone better. I've lost, it looks like I've lost these two mercenary units, but I don't mind that because I don't have to pay the upkeep anymore. Battle duration 7 minutes 31. Slash, slash, slash. Ooh, into the guts and out. And as you can see, I do have the Blood and Gold DLC enabled. And we need to raise this, I think, to get our culture. So it's, uh, we're going to lose some. Um, yeah, we're going to lose quite a lot of things, actually. We need to convert this. Convert it to a Hellenistic city straight away. And we can't build anything else. So we'll just sit tight in this province, but we've actually done something in the first part of this campaign. We've taken Kartuba. We're going to have to be wary of Turtadani down here now, but we should keep pushing south. Perhaps Nova Carthago can take Gadira back, and perhaps one of us can take Tingis. Then we're looking pretty good. I don't really want to expand too far into Spain at the moment. I'm happy enough just to have that province there. We do have my allies. Looks like they're going to march across here to the war target, which will be very, very good for me. Um... We're at war with these guys, the Masaili. We're at war with Garamantia down here. I'm not worried about them at the moment. We're at war with Rome. We're not at war with Syracuse, funnily enough. But yeah, um, the campaign's started. I hope you've enjoyed. I have been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>